In this tutorial, we will add a Lua script to the project in order to create some basic behavior for the field entity. Then we will close the loop so the baseball sim can be run continuously. So to begin with, if we click on the 3D activity and then find the fielder within the view and double click him to create a new graph. Once we have created a new graph, we need to add the Lua script which will create the basic behavior for the fielder entity. So within the folder provided to you, you will have a script called fielder script. Drag this directly onto the fielder's graph. Then, if you click the title of the fielder script and click show script, you can see that the fielder script task contains the Lua code. This is what creates the basic behavior for the fielder entity. In essence, it waits for the ball to be hit by the batter and to, and to hit the pitch. Once it has hit the pitch, the fielder will move towards the ball, pick it up and throw it back to the pitcher. So what we need to do is we need to have access to the baseball. So let's take the baseball from the project library and drag it onto the fielder's graph. Then if we right click the title and choose events and on hit, then that exposes the event on hit. Now we connect on hit to the fielder script to the start pin. We need to click the coroutine option. So when we run the simulation, we find a good view so we can see all of the entities. Click on the picture, click on the batter. The fielder starts to run for the ball, returns it back to the picture, and then we're ready to play again. So we can click on the picture, click on the batter ball goes flying off into the distance. And there we go, the batter's made a home run. So we can see the ball be thrown back to the pitcher. And there we go, we're ready to play another round. Okay. So in this tutorial we've shown you how to add a Lua script to the project to create some basic behavior for the fielder and then we have shown you how to close the loop so the baseball sim can be played continuously.